Hello everyone, in this video we're going to make basic shapes in Photoshop with a gradient colour to them that we're then going to use as background elements in Squarespace. So before we start, if you've got any PNGs or graphics that you want to use as your background element, feel free to skip the Photoshop part. I'll leave a timestamp in the description of where we pick it back up with Squarespace. So let's jump into Photoshop and start making shapes. Okay, so I need to make a new document to start, so I'm going to press Command N. And I'm making this 500 by 500 pixels, 72 pixels per inch. And I want to make sure that the background contents is set to transparent. Click create. And then the first shape I'm going to do is just a basic circle with a gradient color running through it. So to make the circle, if we come over to our elliptical marquee tool, and then while I'm holding shift, I'm just going to drag out the shape of the circle. Next, we need to select the colors that we're going to have running through the gradient. So I'm just going to have red running through to blue. So if we come over to color, I'm going to click on the foreground colour, I'm going to drag that out to red and then if we select the background colour, I'm just going to drag this out to blue. Okay, colours selected. Next we need to get our gradient tool. So if we come across, you might have the paint bucket selected by default. I'm going to right click gradient tool. I want to come up to the top, make sure that it's going foreground to background colour and that it's all running in the one direction. And then it's literally just a case of dragging this across your shape. Obviously you can drag this in any direction that you want it to. You can have it short or longer or show more of one colour. I'm just going to drag this out across the full sides of the canvas. Okay, so we're done with that shape now. If we press Command D to deselect the circle and then Command Shift and S to save. And I'm going to just call this circle. And then I want to save this as a PNG. Okay, so first shape done. Now we can make a more custom shape. So I'm just going to press Command N to open a new document. Keeping the same settings that we used on the circle. I'm just going to click Create again. And with this one, I'm going to come across and I'm going to grab the pen tool. And then we literally just draw a shape. I don't know what this shape's going to be. Um, but you can put a lot of effort into it if you want to then really make something unique to your site. But yeah, this is just a random blob, I'm going to call it. So once it's all linked up, right click, I'm going to make selection. And then again, go across and grab our gradient tool. Drag that one out. So there we go. There's a random shape of something. I'm not entirely sure what it's meant to be. So again, Command D to deselect the shape. Command Shift and S. And I'm just going to call it blob. And again, save it as a PNG. Okay, so we're done in Photoshop now. Next, we need to jump into Squarespace. We're going to put these into image blocks and then send them to the back and then move them around the page. But before we jump into Squarespace, if you wanted these to be floating, like as if they were floating in the background, um, I've got a video tutorial on that as well, which I'll link at the top now. You'd need to apply that first to the image blocks before we move them to the back. So if you do want to do that, you might want to check that video out first and then come back to this one. Okay, so I'm in Rally, and if we scroll down the page a bit, in this section, this is where I'm going to put the elements behind these summary blocks. So the first thing we need to do is go to click to edit the page. And then I'm going to put two image blocks. Let's just drag that over. One containing the circle, one containing our lovely little blob shape. Okay, I'm just going to line these up next to each other so we can see more of the page. Then if we hit save, I'm going to go to design. Custom CSS. And then I want to get the ID of the image block that this circle's in now. So if we go to the Squarespace block slash collection identifier, I'll leave a link in the description to this if you haven't got it for Chrome. And then we're going to click on the circle's image. We're going to come across to the CSS and paste that in there, followed by a couple of squiggly brackets down the line. And then I'm going to go with colon 90%, semicolon. Then position, colon, absolute semicolon. So you can see it's moved over now. Next thing we need to do is just to move it down the page. So I'm going to come down the line again. I'm going to go margin hyphen top colon. I'm going to go 600px. So you can see it's moved down the page. Now obviously if you wanted it to move further down you'd just take this number up to like maybe 800. And then if I wanted to move it left or right that's just literally a case of margin hyphen left so let's say we want to move it left, we'll go minus, I'm going to go 400px. 
and that's moved it over to the left. If you wanted to move it over to the right, it's just a case of removing the minus in front, and that'll move it over to the to the right hand side of the page. So it's just a case of positioning this exactly where you want it on your site. So another thing as well, you might think, well, this is a bit too dark. Now I've gone through the process of making the elements in Photoshop, but it's still too dark. So what we can do is just drop the opacity on it a bit. So I'm gonna go semicolon down the line and opacity colon and I'm just going to go 0.2 there we go that's dropped it down now so you can see the text that's in front of it so again with the opacity it's just the case of adjusting this how you want it to be on your side so we could go 0.7 that'll make it slightly darker we'll just leave that at 0.2 for now okay so we're done with that one now if we just copy all this command c come down command v and then we just need to get the idea of this block now so click on that one overwrite what we've got there and then that'll move that down on top of that so again just a case of positioning this one where you want it so let's take this one to 300 px and then we'll go margin left minus 400 which will move it over to the left hit save let's shut this block id down so you can see where they are and there we go we've got the background elements in place on your site so there we go just a little tip that can break up some of the white space on your website and just give your site a little bit of color so as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If you didn't, that's fine. If you're not already, please do subscribe and hit the bell notification thing to be notified when I upload more Squarespace videos. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. See ya.